Roll call. Mayor Ambrose Hernandez. Commissioner Michael Pacheco. Present. Alternate Mayor Pro Tem Roberto Carrillo. Here. Commissioner Ramiro Caballero. Present. Commissioner Daniel Chavez. Commissioner Ricardo Medina. Commissioner Lisa Flores. Present. Motion to excuse call. absent members. Motion to excuse absent members. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Lord, whether we're leaving behind the year of joy and blessings or trials and difficulties, we pause to give thanks. We thank you that you are always with us every single day of every single year. And we thank you for the many blessings you continue to bestow upon us. Please remind us of your presence in the year ahead, even when life is busy. For this we pray. Amen. All right, we have item two proclamations. Proclamation proclaiming December 18th, 2023 is Arbor Day. We have Hannah Marble here for that presentation. Starting off strong. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Hannah Marple. I am the urban ecologist with the City of Far Parks and Recreation Department, and I'm here to talk a little bit about trees today and why we are proclaiming Arbor Day. And I would like to start by saying that the significance of trees can definitely, it's, it can't be understated. Um, and a good re uh, representation of that is um, in 2022, the federal government approved the Inflation Reduction Act. And about $1 billion with a B um, from the IRA was released across all 50 states for connecting communities to the outdoors. And a big portion of that $1 billion went to um, state forest services to then allocate and trickle throughout the state. So um, Texas being a big state received a big chunk of that money. And I thought that that was kind of um, pertinent to mention that uh, it's, it's, uh, the importance of trees is no longer like um, something that only people like me know, an urban ecologist. Everyone realizes that trees are charismatic, they're nice to have, they provide shade, they have property value, um, they're super important. And um, so to, to kind of go into what Tree City USA is and why we're proclaiming Arbor Day, I'd like to mention a few of the major events that we had this year to connect the community of FAR to the outdoors. Um, starting off with a variety of volunteer days and enrichment camps, this uh, was mainly focused on kids and um, volunteer groups throughout the months of January through March, and then um, the later half of the year, September through November, we're connecting kids to the outdoors um, through a variety of volunteering opportunities like planting, weeding, and also educational activities like little nature hikes, stuff like that. Uh, we also oh. had, back in April, Paint the Park for Earth Day. If y'all have been out to the Vanguard, uh, Far Vanguard Nature Park, you'll see the parking spaces are painted. There was a theme to incorporate far pollinators, which is important and a big part of our natural habitat, um, which again, um, is goes hand in hand with uh, acknowledging the existence of trees in our community. Uh, the RGB Coastal Expo most recently, um, just a couple weeks back, saw about 2,800 kids in total, which was very, very exciting. Um, we also partnered with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. This is a really big one for uh, Rio Reforestation back in October. They saw well over 1,000 volunteers across the valley, and we planted a ton of plants, not just trees, but also understory shrub and stuff like that for a healthy forest. We also had an uh, Arbor Day tree giveaway of about 100 trees back in early November, which is the main thing that we'll be focusing on today. Um, these trees were received through the Apache Tree Grant. It was about $5,000 worth of trees. We got 250 total. We gave away 100, and we have 150 more to plant throughout the winter season in far parks. <coughs> we also um, did a, an initiative with the after school program through Parks and Recreation to do a little planting activity throughout the spring semester from March to May. Um, we visited all the schools here and far and we did a fun little planting activity to talk about um, native habitat and, uh, and wildlife and plants and all that good stuff. So in total, it was a really good year. Uh, for myself, we saw roughly 5,000 children and adults in total across all of these really big activities, big or small. 
um, programs, events, and partnerships were really, really vital to um, engaging our community this year. So I just kind of wanted to bring that up as it relates to this proclamation. Um, that being said, um, I would like to um, thank, um, as always, our city leadership for publicly demonstrating your commitment to the environment through Tree City USA. Um, this proclamation is important not just to me because I care about the environment, um, but it instills a sense of pride in some way in a local community to, to recognize the habitat that exists here. It's really, really important, and um, it's not just someone like me that sees it. A lot of people are starting to really kind of see the significance that it has, not just for the wildlife, which is my, my favorite part, um, but also um, in a personal health perspective. A lot of people recognize and acknowledge that these outdoor spaces are important. So um, thank you guys for that. Really briefly, um, I'd like to mention that the Arbor Day Proclamation is a part of a larger designation that a city receives. Um, we are a Tree City USA, and we have been for the past few years. And in order to be a Tree City USA, we meet four requirements. One is we maintain a tree board or department, which is our Keep Far Beautiful board. They act as our tree care and maintenance board. Two is we have a community tree ordinance, and if anyone would like to review that, it's the City of Far Coded Code of Ordinances, Articles 2 and 3. Um, landscaping and also tree maintenance are included in there. We spend at least $2 per capita on urban forestry. This year, with the huge storm that we saw in April, we probably hit about 8 or $9 <laughs> per capita on tree care and maintenance. It was a huge undertaking to manage everything that happened after that storm event. And then four, we are observing Arbor Day with our tree giveaway back in November, and we are proclaiming Arbor Day. Um, are there any questions or comments about the Arbor Day proclamation or anything that I mentioned? Okay, awesome. All righty then, we're ready to proclaim. <coughs> Whereas Arbor Day has been an occasion for recognizing the value of trees and woodlands to human welfare since 1872, and whereas the city of Far recognizes the value of trees as they contribute to our environment by moderating the temperature, mitigating the effects of climate change, and reducing heating and cooling costs. And whereas the city of Far has a tradition of supporting and encouraging the planting, care, and health of trees throughout the community. And whereas trees in the city of Far increase city property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. And whereas trees provide clean air to breathe, prevents erosion of soil, and provides shelter, food, and protection to wildlife, and whereas all residents are urged to support the efforts to protect our trees and woodlands and plant trees to promote the well-being of this future generations. Now, therefore, I, Michael Pacheco, in representation of Ambrosio Hernandez, mayor of the city of Far, Texas, by the virtue of the authority vested in me, and on behalf of the commission, do hereby proclaim December 18th, 2023, as Arbor Day. Thank you. Anybody for public testimony? Public hearings? All right, next item five is under city manager reports. We have 5A, submission of sales tax collection report for December. It's in your packets. If you all have any questions, we saw 1.94% year to date true growth. And God bless here to answer any questions you all may have. Questions? All right, uh, under 5B, we have UD here for the city events of interest. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, City Council. Yuri Gonzalez with your Office of City Communications. Just a few announcements before the year is over. We'll start off with your Christmas tamalada. This is happening in South Far this Wednesday at the DRC. This is off of Dicker Road. Open to the public. It happens every year. It keeps growing. We'll have tamales, of course. We'll have prizes. We'll have Santa. We'll have music. And I believe last year we also did toy giveaways. Um, once again, it's a growing event, and we hope everybody can join us. Las familias que nos están escuchando o viendo por televisión, los invitamos para la tamalada en el sur de la ciudad de Far, y estaremos ahí este miércoles. Los esperamos, comida, regalos, fotos con Santa y muchas actividades. We have four videos now. The first one, Hannah elaborated, um, you know, about this initiative, and that's the Coastal Expo which took place in the FAR Natatorium. So we have a, uh, a summary of that event. If you have questions, we have Hannah in the audience if uh, you have any other questions. I'm super excited to announce that the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department has partnered up with the city of FAR to host the 2023 RGV Coastal Expo. A lot of these kids are getting to experience some things they may not get to experience in their daily lives. On the outdoor adventure side, things like rock wall climbing, kayaking, archery, and even getting to experience a live fish tank. We have wildlife biologists, coastal fisheries, and everyone in between from Texas Parks and Wildlife coming out to teach kids about the wildlife that we have here in the Rio Grande Valley. I, I wanted to express my gratitude uh, to, to forward-thinking communities like the city of Far for hosting events like this, providing opportunities for their children, and also investing in the future. Um, kids that care about natural and cultural resources are, are gonna take steps as citizens later in life to, to care for and be good stewards of natural and cultural resources. I'm just grateful. Super successful event. Congratulations to Hannah and the entire department with Parks and Rec. As you can see, there was so many people. It was overwhelming, but it was a great success. Our second video is letters to the mayor. This initiative took place a couple of days before our winter wonderland. And this was spearheaded, and this was an idea by our mayor, Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez. He decided that he wanted those children that joined him, you know, to get the treat lit. But he also, he wanted to take it further. He wanted to host a dinner for them. Good job, our events planners, Vanessa, Crystal, Brenda, they did a great job in such a short period of time and just the mayor coming up with this idea last minute. We were able to host 30 children and their parents and so here's a summary of that. Santa won't be the only one getting letters this season. Children across the city of Far wrote holiday letters to the mayor. Their message to Mayor Dr. Hernandez, sharing why it's important we celebrate the holidays together as a community by marking the magical moment with our annual lighting of the Christmas tree. Three, two, the mayor gave away golden envelopes with a response to them. The envelopes holding pizza party invitations for dinner at Perry's Pizzeria, a new spot in town. 30 children enjoyed dinner, treats, and gifts with Santa himself. It was an unforgettable moment for the mayor, exchanging holiday stories, memories, and ideas on keeping the cheer in our city for many, many more Christmases to come. Well, she's very excited. She was overwhelmed. I mean, beyond what we can express, what the city is doing for the kids is really something I wasn't expecting. City of Far is, is growing. It's, you know, one of the fastest growing areas in the nation right now. And, you know, it's really important to have events like this to show that, you know, while the city may be growing in population, you know, our, our commission still wants to speak to us and, and meet with us and, and celebrate with us um, on a personal level. And the city of Far is Team Far. 
It is the residents of Far. You are the priority, not the elected official. We're here to serve you. We get a lot of, and we solicit a lot of input from the citizens of Far because we want to be sure that it's their party, not my party, their party. I want to be sure that all of us have an opinion and we put something out that's for everybody. It's inclusive and represents our community. And so expect bigger and better uh, shows all the time. We will always keep them for free. We're not going to be charging people for something that they, we absolutely deserve to have. The quality of life is one of the priorities, one of the pillars of the city of FAR. So expect much more. No secrets will be told. Gracias por pensar en nosotros los niños, escribí mi cartita y fue, y fue fantástico prender el árbol con usted. Ay, de nada, mi hijo, gracias por tu vuelta. And there you go, that was letters to the mayor. I wish mayor was here, if you're watching this, mayor, thank you for your creative ideas that you just, you know, come up with a couple of days before, and we still managed to make these events possible. He's always challenging us. So once again, that was um, a great initiative. And again, thank you to our event coordinators. Our next video is spearheaded by FAR EMS. And this is a new initiative they took on a couple of weeks ago. And it's called The Vial of Life. We have a short video. And we have Danny Ramirez in the audience if you have additional questions. The Vital Life is a program to have all of your information in one location in case that you're unable to give us that information. Um, we can go to one spot in your house and get gather that information from this vial. This is the Vital Life sticker. We ask that we put it on your front door because that's basically the entrance that we always used. And we'll know that the Vial of Life is in that residence and we'll know to go to the refrigerator to search for that Vial of Life. So it's important to us because we want to provide the best care that we can to the community. One of the ways that we do that is by finding out as much information about the patient as possible. There's often times when we respond to a call and somebody's unconscious and they don't know what's wrong with them, medical history, what medications they're taking, how old they are. And so this is gonna help us because that information is gonna be in a paper inside the refrigerator. We can just pull it out and we have all that information. One of the most important things is allergies to medications. If somebody's allergic to medication and we give it to them without knowing, then that could be detrimental. Having the vial of life is gonna prevent things like that from happening. They can request the vial of life by calling to the EMS office and asking for a vial of life. Um, it comes with a sticker, a vial, and a paper where you would put all the information uh, into the vial. And we ask that we, everybody puts it in the refrigerator. The most vulnerable members of our community are near and dear to our heart. So we wanna make sure that we're providing them with exceptional service through programs like the Viola Life. It's in line with our motto of excellence every day here in the city of Far. Any questions for Danny Ramirez? I'm, I'm just thinking the refrigerator because it's easy access and it's not hidden in drawers or anything like that. Is that the reason? I mean, just my curiosity behind that. Yes, sir, that's exactly the reason. So um, everybody's asked to put it inside the refrigerator. Um, and so whether it's the little butter section or just under the refrigerator door, so we know where it's at. So anybody that asks for it, that's where it goes inside the refrigerator. If PD, fire, or EMS show up, then they go. They know to go straight to the refrigerator, open the door, and it should be in there. That's good to know for just let the public out there. And, you know, I think it's a great idea. You know, I'm sure at the end of the day, it's going to save a lot of lives. And I guess at the end of the day, that's what's important. Para que reconozca la gente de FAR que el programa esta, The Vital Life. Frasco de vida. Este, para, si ustedes se, se informan y se registran, el botecito se va a poner en la refrigeradora porque es más, es más fácil llegar para que los, uh, los bomberos, los policías o el IMS que lleguen, así para que puedan recoger eso y ya saben lo que van a necesitar que ser. So, uh, once again, Danny, that's a great idea. Straight for the city of Park.
And Thank Commission, we expect more people to learn about this as we keep pushing this information, not only through our social media platforms, but in press releases that go directly to newsrooms and hoping that more reporters approach us to you know, cover this story. That'd be wonderful, yes. Definitely. Awesome. And our last video, it's just a promo. It's just to remind those watching that our ball drop event is right around the corner, two weeks from now. Uh, we really encourage everyone to come out. It's a free event. And last year we had close to 6,000 people, so we're hoping we have more people this year. Um, so this is just a video to remind our community. The biggest New Year's Eve party is back. Bring in 2024 with free party favors, food vendors, with musical guest performances by The Spasmatics. And for the first time ever, a one-of-a-kind, spectacular drone show. The City of Far presents Ball Drop 2024, December 31st, starting at 8.30 p.m. in downtown Far. Thank you, Andy Gutierrez, for that awesome voiceover. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it. These are the events um, we feel a community should know about. And in a nutshell, all of these videos and information are also on our social media platforms. If they have more questions, they can always send us a message, and we will help them out. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. All right, next item six, consent agenda. Oh, just real quick, uh, another little announcement. I know we have a couple birthdays with some individuals that are here. Our judge, Mr. Judge and officer, and officer Sanchez back here in the back corner was trying to hide. Hey. Happy birthday, both of y'all. They were three for four on December 8th. <laughs> well, yeah, there were some bad ones too, Juan, but we're not going to mention who they are, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, item six, consent agenda. All items listed under consent agenda are considered to be routine and non-controversial by the governing body and will be enacted by one motion. Motion second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Motion carries. Item 7A, consideration and action, if any, on resolution appointing and reappointing two members to the Keep Alton, Keep Our Beautiful, sorry. I'll, get, I'll, I'll stop doing that one day. Keep Our Beautiful Committee. Um, we recommend Romeo Cantu and Marisa Oliva. Second. We got, a, we got a first and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried unanimous. Item 7 be consideration and action of any on resolution declaring surplus of EMS equipment and vehicles. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Motion carries. Item 8A consideration and action of any on purchasing emergency generators for fire station 1, 2, and 3 from Waukesha Pierce in the amount of $247,860. Second. All the, any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Motion carries. Item 8B, consideration and action, if any, authorizing city manager to award a purchase and installation contract with Professional Turf Products LP from Ulysses, Texas for sprinkler system upgrades and improvements at Tierra del Sol Golf Course for the amount of 178925 Move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Motion carries. Item 9E, consideration and action of any authorizing city manager to amend contract to allow for an extension with Evoqua Water Technologies out of Sarasota, Florida for service to generate chlorine dioxide purchase and delivery of sodium, sodium chloride and purchase and installation of new equipment. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Motion carries. Item 9B, consideration and action of any on ground lease agreement between FAR Economic Development Corporation and the City of FAR and Ready LLC to allow exclusive use of East El Capote Central Avenue from South Cage Boulevard to South Veterans Boulevard to Dauphin Road for overweight, oversized commercial vehicles. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Motion carries. Right uh, before, before we adjourn, I just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you and your families, and to be safe and enjoy and remember the reason for the season. God bless you all. Motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. You all enjoy.